Welcome back to Resident Evil. It's been about a week since I've played this. Oh yes, we were in this cesspool shithole underground area. Okay, went and looked at my inventory to see what I've got. I'm gonna go in this door that was over by the entrance. Also, if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt as is in Mortal Kombat, which hasn't come out yet, comes out tomorrow. That would be because I've recorded both of these on the same day. Thought I heard something. Yeah, it's because I've recorded both of these on the same day. Grenade launcher stuff. I mean the grenades. There we go. And since I've recorded them both on the same day, that means I'm wearing the same shirt. I'll just take note of that. There's mm. like stair steps down here. What's this? Elevator's power source is a round lid. Will you take the shaft? You don't have to ask me twice. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No, but why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. Enrico! Why don't we go investigate who the hell just shot him, man? Traitor? Who? You know, probably the guy that shot him. Just go fucking deal with that, dude. We have another square crank. A crank. I'll take it in. Yeah. <gasps> fucking. I hear another one. I hear you, you son of a bitch. Maybe I don't. Okay. Okay. I've deposited the shaft. Yeah. And I'm holding on to the pistol and the grenade launcher, the two good herbs, and then that crank. So I'm going to go look around, see if I can find where it is I'm supposed to be. What is this? Hexagonal hole here. Is that for this? Well, that was easy. Dude, we're rotating an entire hallway. Christopher Nolan would be so happy. Can I just run through here? Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna go put back the, um, crank then. I grabbed the shotgun, and I only have one shell, but it should be okay. Damn, I should have taken that herb that was in the hallway and used it. What's this? Fucking nothing, apparently. Maybe I can place something there. That kind of looks like the rack that the shotgun was on earlier in the game. What the hell is this boulder?
All right. Now that that's out of the way. So, shotgun shells. Okay. Sure. Is there anything this way? Double doors. Double doors mean something good, something big. to be a spider he's fucking huge ah he jizzed on me no poisoned Combine it, use it. Oh my god! Or are there more? Oh, the fat one exploded. Okay, get me out of here. Get me the mick fuck out of here. Okay, I was coming around to find this blue herb because I remembered it was over here. And I also have a blue herb in the box just in case I get poisoned by that other spider. But. I don't know how fast poison works in this game. So I wanted to at least get rid of it, cure myself really fast anyways. What's this? It's rival knife? Okay. That looks like a barricaded door. What does it say? Huge spider web blocks the door. Okay, yeah. Um. I like cut it up. Yeah. There we go. Let's equip something a little more useful. Damn, I am all out of grenade launcher. Okay, I'm gonna go put that back really fast. Okay, I'm gonna go through here and hope and pray that there's not something dumb. Cause the last time I said Dumbledore's means something good, something big. Something bad, something big. Ooh, a whole bunch of herbs here. Is that a map? Map of the courtyard basement one. Okay, that must be where I'm at. I'll just make note of these herbs. I'm not going to take any of them. What is this? That's the second time I've seen one of those, and I don't know what the hell they could be for. I almost ran into that pit. Wait a second. Is this another crank thing? Let me run back and go grab it. Okay, back with the crank. That boulder is absolutely about to come rushing at me. Just know it. Well, it didn't. And there's supposed to be something to the left here. So I'm going to keep rotating this, see if that works. And now we have a little cutscene. Yeah, there it is. There's that path. God damn it. Shit. I don't know what's me, dude. I should probably be playing with... Let me go check over here with the new controls because the updated controls are supposed to be really good. First aid kit, hell yeah. But 
that don't mean nothing to me. I've been using the old ones for forever now. And we got first aid spray. Hell yeah. Highly volatile item. We got a good inventory going right now. Hmm. This has the puzzle music. It's this weird recession in the wall. Ooh, don't want to do that. This looks like that one God of War puzzle. Ride to you have to like rotate statues and push them into place. So I can tell I'm supposed to do that. The thing is, how do I push this one away from the wall? This probably causes that thing, yeah, over there to push out. Okay, I got it. I got it now. Okay. Now to push it in place. Gotta rotate it twice. Okay, I think I lined this up right. Yeah, there we go. What's that? Duct tape? Cylinder? Does this have to be combined with the shaft? Okay. Put away that knife. And I combined this shaft and the cylinder to make the cylinder shaft. I'm gonna try to put that back where I found the shaft at. And see if that works or does anything. See if that does anything. Series of flashing buttons. Press one. I don't know. I'm just gonna spam these. Just try different combos. Four, two, three, one. Powers. Dude, you have no idea how long I took. Okay. Now what? Take the yellow. What is that? And gun mag. Sure. Fuck it. Got rid of the crank. So if I need it again, I'll get it. I don't care. Jill. Barry? Thank God you're safe. The traitor. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but. I didn't expect to find a place like this. Yeah, man. This is a real shithole. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? Nope. There's only one way to find out. Oh, Barry's coming with us. Hell yeah. What the hell is that sound? It could be a person. Sounded kind of like moaning Jill, to me. Go check it out. Why do I have to check it we out? Had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. What? Why don't you come with me, man? Look at my map. And explore this room first. Fuck you, Barry. I should call you butthole. Is this an item box? Mm, mm, yep. Okay, since there's an item box here, I've reduced all of my inventory to just the shotgun, the handgun, one extra shell, and the first aid spray. That way, if I need to come back, I can just sprint back really fast. But I'm going to check what's right here first. Nothing. go right first because that door is gray never mind 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 fucking human monstrosity thingamaboober is crawling Ooh. I'm gonna grab these she's slow <gasps> never mind we're good I don't know how she got down here. Now I have a good herb thing mixture. Where 
Pretty impressive water graphics considering I'm not supposed to do anything with that. Is this a box I need to push? Likely. What's this? Device for transporting materials. Nope. I'm gonna push the box onto it. And just hope that that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Box firmly in place. Pressing the button on the transport. Bye bye. I can't move. You know, I can move. Don't need to dink around with this anymore. Got it. Is there anything else over here? Doesn't look like it. I'm trying to listen for where she is. Right there, apparently. Glad this is a circle. What the hell is that? Some kind of lever here. Yeah, obviously. Let's pull it. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what those are for. It's the third one now. But I'm going back to Barry. Because I can't go through that other red door. So I don't know what to do. At least I'm assuming I can't. Barry! Barry? Can I go down this ladder? Oh. Oh, this is the box. Hi, box. Uh, let me go ahead and push this over here then. I don't know why Barry left, but he's really making it seem like he's the bad guy, the traitor in our midst, the imposter among us. Is this a hydraulic press? What's going on over here? Garbage compactor. Yep. Switch? No, I'll wait until I press or get the um, box into it. Field trip to the hydraulic press. Very cool. Can I hop down there? Ooh. Where's that? Broken flamethrower. Yeah, I'll take it. Probably shouldn't have smashed the box like that, but oh well. Okay, I'm gonna go back to where that freak is. Go check that red door and see if I can figure out how to get through it. Cause it might have something to do with those weight systems. Sort of pressure plate thingies. Can I go this way? No. Okay, it seems like she appears or wherever it is I'm coming from. That makes sense? Yeah, what's going on here? Some kind of mechanical hook. Hook is stuck inside the hole. That doesn't help me at all. Door is locked, yep. Figured that out. Okay, realized I had to pull the lever to do that. Now, I can go in. Hell am I at? Oh. What's this? Fire has died out, but it shows signs of use. Hmm. my map. Fuck! Are there snakes? Desk is cluttered with old beat up dolls and used candles. Huge collection of various kinds of dolls are all faded and worn. Pass the snakes, pass the snakes, pass the snakes. Go, 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 go. Okay. 
What the hell is in here? A bunch of photographs featuring a young girl depicting various scenes from her upbringing. This bed is still warm. Hey, what is this? Will you take the jewelry box? Yes. Because I got word from Hero that I needed to combine it with this. At least I thought. Stone ring. That's it. Family picture and notes. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administered. Jessica. Administered virus type A. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative. Action disposed. Lisa. Administered virus type B. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion positive but delayed. Body modification observed constant results. Status continued protective observation. George, action terminated November 30th. There's a journal left by someone. November 14th, 1967. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where'd they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? November 15th, I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake, not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. Have to find mom, have to give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away because mom's sad when I meet her without her face. November 17th, from inside box scent of mommy. Maybe truth, maybe true mother there. Stone box hard, it hurt. Steel rope in the way, can't see mother because four stones. Okay. Yeah, I got shade, word from shade to combine these two items to make the stone and metal object. Yep. I don't know what it's, oh, hang on, there's a dagger. I don't know what the stone and metal object is used for, but I guess we'll see. Okay. Mm. I'm going to grab this green herb that's right here. And out. Oh. That would explain how she got over here. Because now we're in her house. Okay. All right, well, I'm heading back to the mansion. I'm gonna take this one too. I just feel like there's a reason there's two of them. I feel like I need both. I wanna make my way back to that typewriter on the left. Yeah, let's do it. Can I go in here? Have I been in here before? I think it was grayed out on the map. Yeah, it was. What the hell is this room? Okay. Take your handgun ammo. I can't. Never mind. Yep, yeah, getting out of here. I'm not sure what's in there. I'll go in there later, though. I don't want to risk dying because I'm on the way to the save point right now. Okay. I've gotten rid of both stone and metal objects, put them in the item box. I've saved and reloaded my gun. And now all I'm holding is the handgun, the shotgun, the red and green mixed herb, and then first aid spray. That's it. I'm going to go try to figure out what I need the stone and metal objects for. And also just explore a little bit. Like, I want to go in that one room. I was just checking. Okay. Now I have this handgun mag. Can I just shoot into the closet? Nope. Great use of some handgun ammo. Oh.
shit. Stop moaning. Bad. Bad. Aw, oh, come on. Not what I wanted to use my survival knife on, ass hat. Okay, at least he's gone. Let's see this. Oh, I got a battery pack. Okay. And that helped me use up some of my handgun ammo, because I've got a hellacious amount of handgun ammo right now. Okay, is that all that's in here? Oh, there's a diary. May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating, scumbag. May 10th. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. I wonder if that's the creepy fucker with the chains. It looks like sloth. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. May 11th. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. It scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit, handed me another one and told me to put it on, said there had been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. What well, holidays at the beginning of May, or middle? I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. May 13th. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14th. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? May 19th. Fever gone, but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. May 21st. Itchy, itchy Scott came ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy. Tasty. <laughs> Very interesting. I wonder if this is Scott and whoever the hell was writing that. It was in this bedroom. Time to do some exploring. Wait, is this where those go? This has two, like, octagons on it. I think what's on the other side of that door would be the freak. But I'm going to go grab the metal and stone objects. Okay. Now that I have these, let me see if I can use them. Yes. Okay. I also grabbed the magnum because I'm paranoid and about to go down here and I have to fight if I have to fight that thing wrapped up in chains. Yes, open it. I'd like to have a powerful weapon to do so with. That's the thought process. What is this? Old typewriter. Yeah, if I had an ink ribbon, I could save, but I don't. Oh, look. The thing with the ink ribbons. It's okay, I just saved. If I have to redo some stuff, I don't mind. Do I have the map? No. Okay, it looks like I just run down this way, though. Damn, dude, whoever was moaning has got some throat. They can moan loud, they can moan far. Anything over here? This game and the old God of Wars have taught me to check fucking everything. Nothing over here looks. This is called Altar Basement One. Where the hell is Altar Floor One? Oh, great. Barry. Jill. You're alive. Yeah, no thanks to you. I was worried because I thought you were. Yeah, come on, man. Don't be a dumbass. Talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't mm -hmm. lie to me. You must be some kind of a dumbass. Ew. 
gross, dude. The close-up of the concrete clappers. <laughs> Damn, she really is like Sloth from the Goonies. What the hell is wrong with that thing? No time to talk. I'm gra Jill, glad I grabbed gun. the Magnum. Yeah, I'll give it back to you. You take it. Thanks, Jill. Okay. Yeah, let's kill this bitch. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Glad he didn't hit me. I really should have brought more ammo, though. Barry, I have an idea. Shoot! Barry, you good, buddy? Barry? Oh, she looks dead to me. Hang on. Can I push her off? Ah, oh, fucking shit. Uh, is that her normal face on her back? I'm kind of just letting him do this. <gasps> I'm going to be real with you. Oh my God. Is she dead? Uh, Barry. Oh my God, Barry, for the love of fuck, kill that bitch. Shoot. Shoot her. She can't do that. Shoot her. Or something. Use that. You guys fuck with the Star Wars quote. Come on. Get closer. I want to see the light leave your eyes. And. Oh, wait. What's this do? Oh, shit. I'm gonna push all these off. Hopefully that's right. Oh my god. Barry, keep shooting. Jill, the good old heave ho. Come on. Thank you, Barry. Oh, wow. Okay, that missed. That was awesome. Still got three shots. I'd rather use this in the Magnum. Okay, cool, that works. I was trying to lure her over real fast so that I can push this. Give it a good old shoving. Barry, you keep shooting. What did that do? Oh, that opened the gate. Okay. Oh my god. Just hoping that's the end of her. Is there anything else in there? Inside the skeleton. Wait, there's something else. Family picture. It's a letter. To my Lisa. Day by day, I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mommy's itching go away. Today, they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they give me the shots, mommies can mommies can think straight, but mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy, what your faces look like, how we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when we go to that lab together. We'll both pretend that we're under... We are... We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when that man in white clothes is off guard, that will be our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for daddy together. Okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November 13th, 1967. Damn. I get everything down here? Yeah, it looks like it. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, where are we at? Also, shout out to Barry for not being a dick. this altar floor one. Oh, this is that area of the map that was like broken off from everything else. I think we're above the aqua ring right now, but I'm not sure. What the hell is that? Circular depression. There's a wolf shaped emblem carved inside. Okay. That's gotta be for the wolf thing. 
the wolf emblem thing of a boober. So I probably need the wolf and lion ones. Or was it an eagle? What's this? Eagle shaped. Okay, yeah. Let me go grab the wolf and the eagle thing from downstairs and I'll be back. Just chat with Barry. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Yeah, probably not. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. Okay. You can come with me if you'd like. I really wouldn't mind having another tag team partner, man. You were really helpful until, you know, the betrayal and whatnot. Okay. I've changed up my inventory a little bit. I've reloaded the shotgun, put it away, reloaded the handgun, grabbed these two things, got rid of everything else. So I'm going to try to put these down now. I think this is the wolf side. Yep. Okay. Okay. So I remember, like, I've gone back and edited the videos now, of course, and I've gone back and re-listened to all of the logbooks and, like, notes that I've read or found. Damn it. And after having done that, I remember there was this doctor guy. It was actually in the last part. Not doctor, but an archae... Not an archaeologist, an architect. Goodness. Who helped construct this building and he placed all sorts of crazy shit like puzzles and trap doors and all sorts of like booby traps and shit like the ones that have been trying to kill me a lot Look around here. see the map I'm a very untrusting person these days when it comes to this game, anyways. Uh, okay, typewriter, item box, ink ribbons. That is sweet. Okay, I just put away my ink ribbons that I picked up on the ground there, so I have two. Actually, I think I have three. But, I put them away. I think I'm gonna call this episode here, because I know I'm in the labs now, I think is what this is called. And this is like the final area of the game, so. Should be wrapping up sometime soon, hopefully in the next part, or the part after that, something like that. Before I go, I wanted to plug the Mortal Kombat series because I love the fuck out of that game and have been having a blast with it. Recently, I've actually really gotten into Resident Evil and Mortal Kombat, like sitting and watching video essays talking about stuff that I've seen so far because I don't want to spoil it for myself. I do want to go through both series on my own and learn everything about them. Yeah, I've been doing a series on that. Tomorrow is the release of the Reptile chapter for Mortal Kombat 1. And then before I wrap this up, I will say that regarding this game, I've got more episodes coming where I'll be playing as Chris because I am more than aware that the game is a completely different experience as Chris. And last thing before I go, I'm going to hold this up to the camera and hope that it works and that I'm holding up correctly. I got this. I found it on eBay. Somebody was selling it for a pretty good price. And I do know that that's just disc one. And that means that I can only play as Leon in that. But I did find somebody selling their Claire disc. And I will be getting that and then playing it. But that means now I have the original Resident Evil 2 and the remaster. So I'll be playing all of them as both characters. So a lot more Resident Evil content to come. I've been like, I love this series. It's become a new obsession of mine. Anyways, for now, I'll shut up. I'll let you guys go. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home but my balls keep telling me to let me oh oh just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home but my balls keep telling me to let me oh oh just let me oh Ah uh, He jizzed on me